How's it going, guys and geeks? Welcome to Geek Critique. My name is Dakota. I've got a short and sweet video for you guys today, which will hopefully help answer the lingering mystery of how Moon Knight would have supposedly connected to the events of Thor Love and Thunder. This will be partially a breakdown and partially conjecture, but most importantly, this will involve what we do best here, in-depth timeline analyses. Because believe it or not, Love and Thunder and Moon Knight are intrinsically connected through their timelines. Before we begin, please like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. It really helps out the channel. If you're unfamiliar with the supposed hidden Love and Thunder references in Moon Knight, that's okay. We're here to break it down. In the early stages of writing the series Moon Knight, multiple variations of the script were written that had Easter eggs referencing the events of Love and Thunder, as well as probably other titles. In an interview with the direct, head writer and executive producer on Moon Knight, Jeremy Slater, had this to say. The reality is that we had no idea when we started working on the show, we didn't know when we were debuting. We always sort of assumed it would be later down the road and we would sort of be coming out in fall of 2022, and we thought we would probably be following Thor Love and Thunder. But at that time, Thor didn't necessarily have a concrete release date either. Everything was sort of up in the air, and it's like, we might be ahead of Thor, or we might be finishing up. So there were different versions of the script where the gods would sort of talk about this thing with Gore the God Butcher just happened and now we've got this new problem. And then there were other versions of the scripts where they sort of talked about we're hearing rumors that gods are dying. This is not the right time to get involved. These different versions of the script both revolve around the fact that Thor Love and Thunder either just occurred or that it occurred concurrently with the events of Moon Knight. Again, one of the most important aspects to interconnectivity within the MCU, time. And fascinatingly, both Thor Love and Thunder's timeline and Moon Knight's occur back to back. We're not going to do a massive breakdown of Thor Love and Thunder's timeline today, as we don't have a digital copy to examine the movie frame by frame, so be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss our frame by frame breakdown, when does Thor Love and Thunder take place? But we'll do a mini timeline breakdown using the limited trailer footage we have to work with, so bear with me. First, it's important to reiterate our findings from our When Does Moon Knight Take Place video. In it, we discovered that Disney Plus's MCU timeline placed Moon Knight incorrectly in 2025. Moon Knight has a hidden timeline that can only be deciphered by matching up the on-screen moon phases to the in-series dates and days. And in so doing, we can firmly say that Moon Knight Season 1 occurs between June 6th and June 16th, 2024, nearly a year earlier than the Disney Plus timeline. I encourage you guys to take a look at that video after this, it's super cool. So if that's true, Gore's rampage across the galaxy killing off deities left and right would either be happening in June 2024 or just before it. Is there any way we can verify that fact in Thor Love and Thunder? Quite incredibly, the dates do match up almost perfectly, and this makes total sense if the two titles were originally supposed to be linked. Spoilers for Thor Love and Thunder ahead, you have been warned. Early on in the film, we learn that Jane Foster has cancer, and she takes a blood sample dated to April 30th. She subsequently heads to New Asgard where she becomes the Mighty Thor for presumably the next few weeks before Thor shows up. Enough time for her to develop a bunch of catchphrases. This works alongside the fact that Jane learned of her cancer only six months prior, which should be just shortly after returning from the blip in Endgame. I'm sure there's even more dates that we can examine in the film upon closer frame-by-frame -frame examination, but for now, my best guesstimation for when the main events in the film occur is the week of May 20th, 2024. How do we get the date? May 20th, you might ask? Well, the night Thor shows up on New Asgard, we see a waxing gibbous moon in the sky. Using the lessons we learned in Moon Knight, we match that lunar phase with the closest date the moon cycle would naturally land on after April 30th, 2024. That brings us to Monday, May 20th, 2024. So if we assume the rest of the film roughly occurs over the following week, that brings us very close to the time frame that Moon Knight occurs in. In fact, between the two titles, that's only a matter of two to three weeks apart. So naturally, the two titles, both heavily revolving around pantheons of gods, would have some serious connective tissue. We briefly see an Egyptian god at Omnipotent City, as Bast sits right in front of Valkyrie and Mighty Thor. Is it possible that Gore killed some of the Egyptian gods ahead of Moon Knight? Well, we learn early on in Moon Knight that there are explicitly nine gods in the Ennead, but when Khonshu is summoned to a meeting of said Ennead, only five gods arrive. 
We know the references to gore were removed thanks to Kevin Feige because the show was finally scheduled to arrive after Love and Thunder, but there's certainly plenty of connective tissue there for us to dig into. And considering the timeline works out so that these two titles occur back to back, it's pretty cool considering what could have been. If this blew your mind like it blew mine, please hit that like button so more like-minded geeks can get their minds summarily blown as well. Thanks so much for watching, please subscribe for more fun, timeline-oriented content like this. In our next video, we'll be diving frame by frame through Miss Marvel to determine when that show takes place. It's a tricky one, as there are multiple places on the timeline it could occur, but we think we've figured out the best possible option. For now, don't miss our breakdown of Moon Knight, where we decipher the show's incredible usage of lunar phases, or check out our breakdown of Doctor Strange 2's curious timeline placement. Thanks guys, have a good one.